Sometimes we think that when a person signs up with us that they're ready to go, they're ready to change, they're just gonna do everything. But in reality, one of the biggest problems like we've talked about is they don't see the cycles that they're already in. And the biggest benefit, okay, that you add for a client in now and in the future is helping them to identify the cycles that they go through. Okay, and it's what a lot of coaches don't identify here. Here's what to do, here's what to eat, but we don't really identify again the root problem, okay, of why they're being held back, okay? So kind of what I share here is we're, we're moving forward in life, okay? We're moving forward in life and trying to get to our result, okay? And we go through these cycles, right? And think about the time that we go through these cycles, okay? And so I think part of our soul or spirit knows that, hey, you know what? I could be further, okay? I could be further. And we know that intuitively because we know that if we didn't go through these huge cycles, okay, in life, all right, we could be where we wanted to be, okay? So the goal is to continuously help people move forward, okay, and to stay here, okay, on top, moving forward, okay? But then something happens, okay? Let me, let me use a different marker here so we can... See this a little bit better. Okay, so the goal is to stay at number one. Okay, we're moving forward, we're crushing it. Something happens though in, in someone's life, okay, and they slip. Okay, two is usually where they slip. And then after we slip, okay, we get into phase three. And now this is where we're essentially hanging on. And you can only hang on for so long, then we start free falling. Okay, things are just getting out of control. Okay, after we're free falling, okay, we hit the ground, okay? It's the entire world's on top of us, crushing us, okay? And usually the hardest part is going from, so this is phase four, okay, phase five. The hardest part is going from phase five to phase six. Because anytime you start a new pattern, new behavior, climb your way up, it's like climbing upside down, right? So this is the... This is the climb upside down. Here's where the world is on top of you. Okay, I don't know if you ever feel like that. The world's on top of you. Can't seem to get a break. Everything just keeps crushing you, right? Then we're climbing upside down. Okay? Climbing upside down. Imagine trying to climb upside down, how hard that was. You have gravity against you. Okay, then we start to mo maintain momentum, right? And we start the climbing phase, climbing back up. Okay, and this is where phase eight, we're crawling. Okay, things are moving forward. We're getting back up to it. So everyone goes through these phases. Okay, we're on top. Something happens. They slip. After the slip, they're just hanging on. Okay, we can only hang on for so long, and then we start free falling. Okay, and then we're, we hit the ground. We're being crushed. The world's on top of us. Okay, and then right here, something happens. There's some belief that kicks in, that inspires us and motivates us to go here, okay? We start acting out more, doing the thing, getting results, okay? Crawling back up and getting results. So again, people go through different phases, okay? We go through a health and fitness phase, a relationship phase, like a business phase, okay? All right, and so at each phase, we want to identify four things, okay? So one, we want to identify how are we feeling? Okay, what's the main feeling? Okay, what are we thinking? What are the stories going through our mind? Okay, what are we visualizing? We don't realize how much we actually visualize on a data basis. Okay, what are our actions? Okay, and then what are our results? Okay, so each one of these phases, you want to identify these four things, okay? So the question, and, and you'll want to go through this exercise uh, on yourself before you try to send anyone else through this, okay? So this is going to take some time to get, bit, to get good at. So let's say we're focusing on business. So the question I'd ask, how are we feeling when we're on top? Yeah, I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired. I'm thinking, man, maybe I can really scale this to multiple six figures and even a million, Okay, I'm getting up on time, I'm going to the gym, I'm reaching out to people, I'm creating things, I'm building my brand, my marketing is on point. Okay, I'm getting consistent clients, right? People are calling me all the time. 
okay? So I identified what does phase one look like. Phase two, so what happens when you slip? How are you feeling when you slip in your business? Uh, things start to get a little heavy. Uh, you know, there's something that's thrown at me that I'm not really prepared for. Okay, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking, ho I hope things don't get worse. I'm thinking, man, uh, I really need some help. Okay, what are some of your actions that you're doing? Or maybe what are some actions that you stop doing? I start sleeping in a little bit more. Okay, I stop going to the gym as much. I stop eating as good. Uh, I'm not putting out consistent videos. What's the results? Okay, so you want to help them identify these phases at every single phase. Okay, what does it feel like to be hanging on? What happens? So, so after a result, right, after an experience, it generates, right, a new feeling, right, all right, within us. Okay, so after you start getting less leads, now how are you feeling? Okay, so that's the transition to the next phase. Well, I'm feeling a little out of control. I'm feeling like, man, maybe my business is going to go downhill. I'm thinking maybe I need to stop uh, investing as much into my business. I'm thinking, you know, maybe I need to let some people go in my business. What are some of my actions? Okay, my marketing uh, is getting frantic now. I, I, I'm full-blown marketing, but it's coming off very desperate and needy. Okay, what's the results? Um, you know, I, I'm not getting any clients. Okay, the referrals have come to a stop. Okay, and then since referrals and everything came to a stop, Let's go to phase four. How are you feeling there? Okay, I'm out of control. Nothing's working. Okay, so you walk through people through the entire phase of it. Okay, when we can see it, we can stop it. If we can't see it, we can't stop it. Like I was saying before, who gives a shit if you see it? Okay, it doesn't matter if you see it. It matters if they see it. So what this is helping you, uh, what is this helping them do is start to identify the cycles. Okay, so this is something you'll get started with them. You want to send them home. Hey, I want you to fill this out for the, uh, an hour, hour and a half, and I want you to come back. Okay, and then after they come back, I want you to go through it again. Okay, and then you're going to start to ask some questions. This is where you got to be a good detective. So what did you learn about this cycle? Okay, well, I learned that, you know, um, you know, up here, I start to do this with my marketing. I start to learn here that I, I do this. I learned that when I'm at the bottom, I learned that my cycles, like what helps me get out of this bottom of being the cycle is that, you know what? I do have something powerful that the world needs. I do have something that can help people. And so I have this new power and belief in myself. So you start to get them to identify it. And I, I truly believe we're all going to go through cycles. Every one of us, health, wealth, relationships, but is it this cycle? Is it this big fucking shithole circle that you're going through? Or is it this? Okay. All right. I have cycles. I go on vacation. My eating sucks. Okay. Start having a few beers, right? Not, not moving as much, right? Not exercising. Okay. But that's a weekend. Okay. Most people, all right, if they're not identifying these cycles, it leads to the next and the next and the next. And by the time they go around this huge cycle, that's five years. That's five years we have to erase of bad habits we've been doing. Okay. So just by changing the cycle of how fast they go through the cycle is everything. Okay. This is worth a lot to your clients. Okay. This process, if you're doing it right with the right person, I mean, by itself can be $5,000. Okay. And that, and I'm not going to ever determine your price or what you should be charging or not charging. Right. But this is worth a lot of value to your clients to get them identified. I mean, if imagine if this was all you did, all you did was help them identify the cycles of how not to go through the cycles again. Okay. So this is one of the things that, you know, I do with my clients when we first start beginning a program, because they got to start seeing these cycles. Otherwise we're going to continue to take forever to get shit done. Okay. We got to get shit done. We got to move forward. Okay. And start crushing things. All right. Okay, so my challenge to you, okay, and this is part of the certification, don't just go, oh, that's great information, I'm going to do this with my clients, Travis, okay, that's not how it works, okay, what you want to do is you want to go through it yourself, your health and wealth, or your health, okay, your relationships and your business, and I promise you, you're going to learn some stuff about yourself, okay, and again, this is just the intro, there's some other stuff that I can share that's really cool. That's actually in the next certification. Okay. Hopefully you're filling out your workbook. Okay. We've got a few more videos 
left. I'm excited to sit down and help you out any way I can uh, moving forward in your business, okay? So we'll give you that opportunity coming up. You'll have uh, some links on uh, filling out a form before we meet with. I'm super excited to talk to you more and see what you've learned during this whole process, okay? Keep working, be inspired in what you're doing, be next gen, be unique, be different, and I believe that the world needs you. Good talk.